Oh yes, boo boo boo. It's the final episode of Lessons from the Men I've Loved, episode five. First off, welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing? Vibe, vibe, I hope. I know you guys get upset when I don't say that is your girl. Eh? So then, we're gonna have to find me a new intro because this is getting really tasking on my forearms. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. So we're gonna keep it short. We're gonna keep it sweet. Now, this one is for people my age, twenty-five. Yes. We are hitting the ground running, just turned this age, and I got set very fast, like 12 or 13 days to my birthday. Ew! Don't you guys just love it? But I think the major lesson for me for this year going forward is enjoy thyself. You see that pressure, that need to want to have everything in control, or oh, I have to be in a relationship, I have to be in a structured setup not necessarily important i mean it does make a lot of sense you're 25 you want to get the babies out so you can be a milf and all of that but if you have tried try try sometimes don't try again give yourself a break and that is what this year is going to be for me except you're a man and you are coming as correct as humanly possible none of that oh it's complicated none of that oh it's not you it's me none of that um i don't really know what i want uh -uh. if you're coming at me right now best believe you better be coming with the right energy be ready to have a proper relationship. So lesson number one for people 25 and above, and I would say is enjoy yourself and don't feel like you're running out of time. Don't feel like, oh, hey, 25, I'm not in a relationship, I'm 25, I'm not married, 25, I don't have kids. People have kids at 30, people have kids at 35, and they are absolutely fine. They don't have any stress or struggle. Honey, there is modern day medicine. Take out your eggs. Whenever you want to have a baby, have a baby, okay? Second lesson is, Get to know yourself. I feel like a lot of people, like I said in the previous video, a lot of people are still struggling with learning their love language, learning what works for them. Some people like casual, some people like serious. Know thyself. Take a year off. I feel like 25 for me right now is a year of self-realization on a different level. What are the things I like? What are the things I'm not going to tolerate? What are the things that are absolute deal breakers for me. What are things that I can kind of sort of, you know, bend a little here and there for? Get to know yourself. Sometimes spend time alone. You know, take yourself on solo dates. Talk to yourself in front of the mirror. Meditate. Read books. Explore life. You, now relationship you know, get, you don't keep the sin. It's not that deep, really and truly. So let this year 25 be your year of exploration. Let it be the year you learn something new and feel. If you want to have casual relationships here and there, it's up to you. But what I want you to take away from this year is there is literally no pressure. You do not need to force anything. Get your bank account right. That idea you've been postponing and working on for years, apply yourself in this year and just get it done. Make money enough to travel on a vacation if some man pisses you off. You don't need anybody's help to do anything that you need to do. So self-actualization, self-realization, I think for me will be the theme of year 20. All right, we're getting that money and we're looking good doing it. All right, ew. I need to stop doing that. Am I cut? Anyways, last and final lesson. When the time is right, what is for you will find you. Plain and simple. For somebody like me who has allowed the bad, the bad, and the ugliest into my space, this is the first time I feel... 100% comfortable being single because I know that whoever is for me, my partner, my person, the person in their front, I just need to find him. And you know what? For the first time, I'm not in a hurry to do that. I want some me time. Take a sabbatical. Take a year off. Enjoy yourself. Do something you've never done before. Kiss a stranger as long as you don't have herpes. You know? All these nice, nice little things, enjoy yourself, but keep in mind that what God, and I'm not trying to be overly spiritual, but what the universe has destined for you, when the universe feels like you're ready for it, because a lot of times, this love that we're all fantasizing about and we want, half the time we like the idea of it, but the reality of it, we're not so sure we can handle. So maybe the universe is even helping you to help yourself, to get to know yourself so that when this said partner male or female comes to you you know exactly what to do how to handle the situation so it doesn't end up in a victory of breakfast as well okay 
But like I said, the year 25 is all about exploring, living your best life, getting your bank account right, skin glowing and thriving, and just being the absolute best that you can be. There you have it, guys. Thank you so much for the support on the series so far. You guys are absolutely amazing. Let me know if you want more episodes, maybe more breakdowns of the lessons. Just uh, leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to read it. Don't forget, of course, the three top things about YouTube. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.